Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Monday the 9th, and today was a lovely day outside, temperature wise was nice and warm, got a nice sweat going on while running, but it wasn't too hot to dehydrate you and really kick your ass, so it definitely was a good day for that. Nice little breeze, not a lot going on, but I got up, um, had a kind of a weird night, the dog was up and down all night long, so I was not sleeping a lot, he was whimpering and whining, wanting to go out a lot, and that kind of thing, so... It was kind of a crappy sleeping night, but it happens. What can you do? So I end up um, heading over to my ex's today. She, I guess she hurt her back or some junk and wanted me to mow her yard for her. So I said, that's no problem. So I head over there today, um, got her yard mowed up. I have my real push mower that I didn't feel like using because the grass was way too tall. She let it outgrow way too much. So I used her push mower. Things a complete pile of junk. So I actually drug it back home behind my recumbent bike and um, sharpened the blades, cleaned the air filters, did some general little crappy maintenance to it. Then also while I was here, I used it to mow down some of the brush type area on the side of my creek that my real type mower just was not gonna do well. I was gonna get a sickle and just like hand chop it down, but I thought, hell, I got the mower here anyway. So I went ahead and did that, and then I took the mower back over. Weed eater around her place and that. Um, her weed eater also is broke. Um, I don't know what the hell's going on with that thing, but. I went ahead and took my hand trimmers over there because I went all gasless this year on my yard. So I don't even have a string trimmer. I just have like these giant like hedge trimmers that I use for weed eating. And it made pretty quick work of most of her stuff over there. Um, trimmed up a bunch of trees that are overgrowing, looking all crazy and ridiculous. So I chopped that back. And she's got a whole truck bed full of brush now that I figure adds ah, her fault problem to get rid of it. So I went ahead and just stuffed it on the back of her truck and thought, what the hell. So got that all taken care of. Um, between that, came back home, finished up mowing my yard. Um, I ended up spending about five hours push mowing yards today. Um, luckily though, a, lo a small chunk of that, I guess, was with an actual power uh, mower and not the real style, so it's a little bit easier to push. That right there definitely works out nice, but went ahead, um, had the had the bike out, like I said, had the recumbent out today, so it was kind of nice riding it around. Although half the time I was pulling a mower around behind me, so it kind of makes it an odd ride, but Got that all taken care of. Um, Bruce and I went for a run today, ended up knocking on another 10K. We've seen it be doing a 10K about every day this month, except for the first, we did a full marathon, and then we've done a 5K in there also. So we've definitely, um, pretty much every day, been running five or 10K or better, and it just felt pretty good. Um, ran the trails, there was a bunch of Amish over there. They were having like a family reunion or something at the reservoir. And first time Bruce had been around horses and that, so I was a little bit nervous. He did fine, um, absolutely no problem at all. Um, made a few laps around there with all the people and stuff around. We kind of got out of there a little quicker than normal. Um, headed back home, basically kind of finished up a few things in the shop and then um, watched a little bit of Netflix. Ended up watching um, my first episode of season two of Orange is the New Black and I'm trying not to marathon crush that thing. So I kind of want to make it drag out. It's a good show, or at least, I don't know, the first episode seemed kind of shitty compared to last year. I was not overly impressed with the first episode so far, but I know they're trying to introduce a whole bunch of new characters and that, and they're trying to you know change up some stuff to kind of extend the plot line a little bit, because you can only have so many stories in the one prison with the same characters all the time. So definitely um, not overly impressed with the first episode. If this was the first episode of the series ever, um, like season one would have been this one, I probably wouldn't have watched episode two. So luckily episode one was much better on season one, so... Definitely kind of, um, I don't know, a little bit bummed about that, I guess. So, who knows? We'll see what happens. Um, not sure it's going on tomorrow. I might be heading up to Des Moines to go with my buddy, take a bike back, and then do some tri training. Um, don't know. It might be Wednesday. I have no clue what's going on still yet. He hasn't really answered me on what his schedule is. Uh, they're calling for a possibility of rain, but it's a real small chance for tomorrow, so I don't think that'll be an issue. And then I've got a lady who's wanting to come over and look at a bunch of my stuff, but I've got some old antiques and different things she's wanting to look at buying, and i got to figure out when that's going to happen. I'm still waiting for my buddy to make a decision, so if you don't make it by, if I don't have an email, I guess, when I get up, what's going on, I'm going to skip tomorrow and just try and get a hold of the lady and have her come meet me tomorrow to look at all that stuff. So, anyway, that's pretty much all I've got for now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.